And here we go. That should probably about done it. I had a little problem with Windows <clears throat> today on the uh, pre-dork table time out here in Dorkland. <laughs> Thanks, Grim, for helping me. I did something in it. Changed shit. Things change on the Internet. Anyway, this is Flash at the Dork Table on 25th. Let's make sure I got the stream going here. Should be. Yeah, Grim said it's all good. Thank you, Grimner. And I'll close up all my things I don't need open right now. And get on with the podcast. And we got uh, chatters and for your reading approval in the RLM chat room today. We've got uh, Barman and Beetle, Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Anti, Anti underscore, Esmo, Chelsea, Doni, Sir Glow, hello, honey, Chloe, Dan Van Meter, Duh, me, Frumpy, Work, Jays, Nines, Jays, Meister Brow, Rob Works, the Bubbler, Trust No One, Van Meter, Vanna White, Weather Dork, Phantom, Cyborg, Noodle, D Dork Cakes, Hey Mental, and Siv Frumpy, Kiss Matt J W J two O O two, Pone Sauce, Smart Ass, The Holiest Roger, and Zipix. So if you're in a chattery mood today, we have no Graham Z for me to argue with. I have to argue with myself this week. So I decided to call this show in honor of the mask. Hide that ugly face, because, well, that's what I decided to call it. But I originally wanted to call it Into Thin Air. <laughs> wow. If you could watch this from a distance, this uh, America game, it would probably seem a lot different than the one you're in, as that's usually the case. Wait a minute. I can't change this. Hold on a second. Nope, that's done. So I have to start a new one. Uh-oh. I'm stalling in the beginning of the show because, uh, anyway, I did something to the computer in it. And it had to be, uh, get a transfusion, a couple of parts changed. I don't know. Something's <laughs> something is amiss in Electroland. I think Bill Gates' thing is, God, the guy likes to control his windows, doesn't he? So it could be that, and there's stuff just got shifted about, and we'll just have to deal with it and get around the obstacles. Uh -huh. So yeah, tonight's dork table is going to be called Hide That Ugly Face, because, <clears throat> well, if you're not ashamed of yourself already for participating at this point in the uh, Corona hoax... Let's let's say that you heard about it. The first time you heard about it in your life was February of 2020. If you're still supporting it today in July 2020, well, I wish you luck. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but what we're being told, this consensus, I guess, amongst my peers by virtue of observing and reporting is it's going to take more than this to scare me. That's what I see out there. And what I read on the internet about my ex-homeland is quite different. And I think it's got nothing to do with a virus. It's just a control so they can pretend they're going to elect a president. Can keep the game going just a little longer. You know, Don't give up yet, folks. But if you compared the history and the circumstances, you know, time link wise, I'll bet the shit that was going on when they first did this revolution shit in what seventeen seventy something, I'll bet things were way better than they are now. And people aren't revolting against shit; they're just complying, blaming the other guy, pointing a finger. Eating at a distance in a public restaurant because you could get a cold. Wow. Didn't take much. I got to admit, you know, when, 
when I sit back and think about my 50 years in America, and I compare it to the last 10 I've been watching on the Internet, it's two different countries. <laughs> it's not the place I left. I, mean, I thought, that, I think now that if this would have happened when I was living there, the people I was living around would have laughed it out. Said, You've got to be fucking kidding me. This is nonsense. But, apparently, hmm. well, it depends on what, what, where I was at that you speak of. Because if it's California, then, no, that's the, that's the group that believes the corona can kill you if it looks at you sideways. Then you've got other states that don't. Don't know which states on what side. There's so many uh, states. <laughs> and there's only two sides. <laughs> So I, I guess it goes with the uh, the color of your obedience. Are you obedient red or are you obedient blue? Hmm, let us ponder. Anyway, hide that ugly face. Support your political guy. <laughs> That's the, come on. Am I the only one laughing at this? I mean, if you're crying. I sure as hell understand why, but you shouldn't. You should be laughing with the, you know, laugh with the joke of all this stuff and get on with life. But it seems to me that there's nothing to return to. So, wow, what the government finally accomplished is it made everybody uh, dependent on it. If if you need money then the most secure way of acquiring money in the near future, because most people's jobs were fucked with, <laughs> is, well, the government will give you some money. Guess what? Here we got, well, we just make a loan with the Federal Reserve Bank, and we'll just fix everything up, except for those people over there. <laughs> they won't get shit, but you guys will. And you got to qualify to be on the right side and the good team and all that stuff. And I guess life will take care of you through that, right? They call it uh, voting. <laughs> so, uh, so you can receive a stimulus package. You know what I think a stimulus package means in regular old English? That's a loan. <laughs> you you got to pay that back. Because... The government can't give you anything because the government doesn't have anything to give you. The government is the collected everything you gave them in the first place. Just because they can't manage it <laughs> does not mean they don't deserve it. Because <laughs> they keep getting it every day, day in, day out. And they mismanage it really bad. Like they favor Israel. They give Israel like 30 fucking billion dollars a year or something. It's outrageous. Little country like that. And then the, the Israelis on their own have their own income. So they don't really even need it to help. But it's good to have a big brother, you know, to stick around when things don't look so good. So you can go, hey, come help me. And that's what Israel does. Or do they? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I have my suspicions, though. So behind Hide That Ugly Face, wow, I guess that's what we'll call the dork table today, in honor of the mask, because the mask is to hide your face. It isn't to uh, help you. It's not to help me. It's not to save your life. It's to hide your ugly face from your political representative, because he doesn't want to have to look upon you. You're supposed to be dying of a the most deadly virus that ever hit the world in the history of mankind. And all it takes to defend yourself against this menace is hide your fucking face. Yep, if you do that, you'll survive the corona, baby. And you too can be a survivor and vote for the right guy too, all at the same time. So somehow 
They managed to make this mass crap a political thing. Hmm. And blame it on a virus that, depending on how you look at the word virus, may or may not exist at all. Some people see it as, hmm, this could be just a big old faking story and it sounds real good and if you write this down on paper you scare people. Or, it's a bunch of shit and they just made stuff up and people either went along with it or they didn't. And then that main doctor guy, what's his name? Dr. Fucci? <laughs> How do you say his fucking name? Who gives a shit? You guys know who I'm talking to. The hypocrite guy. No, wear the mask. Hey, wait. Wear a mask. No, wait. Don't wear a mask. Wait. Wear the fucking mask. Why are you not wear? I told you not to wear the damn mask. And you hear the guy flipping, flopping. He's like a fucking pizza. <whistles> Flip, flopping all in every side there is. There's only two sides, but... <laughs> Just for, to make it sound really important. So, here's what really kind of disappoints me, guys. is The public is faced with two choices. Okay? You cover your face to save everybody else, or you don't. Guess which side won. <laughs> and when it didn't win, what it seems to happen is the government hijacked the concept altogether and decided for everybody said well i'm your big brother now and you'll do as i tell you regardless of the consequences of your behavior and action you're gonna do what i say or get a fine maybe send you to prison so somehow or another because 40 years ago this would have been laughed at people would have probably punched you in the face Wear that mask or you can't come in here. No, that's what a bandit does. I don't knock the fuck out of you going in anyway. <laughs> it's all backwards now. You got to wear a mask to go, get a, to go write a check at a bank. <laughs> Cash a check or whatever the fuck you do in bank. So, I don't know why anybody would want to go into a bank in the first place to do banking. But, <laughs> apparently, that... Is that still happening? Do people actually... I see them do it here. Going in and they're borrowing money to buy property and whatnot. You know, all that magic show shit. And I don't think that the locals are any more familiar with the uh, concept of fractional reserve banking or care one way or the other any more than anybody else. It's a real... It's a real nerdy kind of area. To be concerned about. Because it sounds so technical. You couldn't possibly understand the intricacies of economics. And the reason for that is because it's a big freaking three-card money bullshit story. <laughs> it's in modern, mo modern money mechanics, for if you want to read about it. So, hmm. fractional reserve banking. The greatest scam the Jews ever came up with. These people are, they're incredible. And I don't know why you don't actually collectively hang a fucking couple uh, Jew bankers. Put a stop to all this uh, illegal finance is what it really is. What it's been hijacked into. Because you've got, you know, lawyers interpreting the shit that they're writing. So, of course, they're going to tell you what they want you to hear. They're reading it in their own secret language course we're all knowing so we know what they're doing <sighs> just go buy a car <laughs> oh or a house or or something you know something big and uh, i guess the grown-up world opens you up to you with a big bend over this table and shut the fuck up we know it hurts but they do it anyway and they do it with the magic stroke of a pen. No money takes any fucking movement at all. Zero. It's just changing a ledger. And they've moved up from paper to electronics. So now they can do it faster. So, yeah. Hey, Rob. Yeah. The five biggest banks on the planet last year were claiming to be trading five 
trillion dollars a day. So, what? No, come on. The entire planet. These people are lying. You can't be accountable for that kind of stuff in instantly like that. It's too, too much. But, I think average Joe wouldn't understand that you need a little time to look at a problem before you can answer it sometimes part. Because, you know, they can push a phone button and talk to their mommy in, in England like I used to. So, hey, wait a minute. Click, click, click. Works here. But it's not always... I guess what I'm getting at is the sleight of hand that we're being... Um, it's right in your face. And it's... But the words are different, <laughs> I guess. Hmm. I found a little bit of truth on the uh, internet sites. But not very popular. People just do not flock to the... Uh, hmm, I guess the reality of what's truly happening. But they're all addicted to the specific dramas within it. You know, like the riots have some people's attention. Me, I've, the dollar collapse has my attention. Um, the garden has my wife's attention. Because I don't think Cirque gives two flying fucks about any of this, what's going on where I'm from. And for some reason, I still, you know, it's just horrible to read <laughs> the, the control being uh, enforced so heavily. And they got, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, I found truths on the interwebs, Rob. I found a lot of truth. It's all subjective. Make up whatever you want to. See? I think maybe that's the lesson people need to learn is you're 90% in charge of what the results are because you make them happen. <laughs> so I guess knowing that you're working with inferior materials from the start would be a kind of an advantage to have over others. You know, like there's some of us that, that think this is as good as it gets. It couldn't be any better. Blah, blah, blah. And then there's other people that just want to be left alone. <laughs> and, you know, do their business and their trading or what have you. But for fuck's sake, don't don't shove all that social crap on me. It doesn't belong here. I was specifically talking about Grimm. Because me and Rob got uh, partnerships going on that interrupt the flow of our natural cheese. Because there's no such thing as, if you're going to uh, associate in the electronic world, you can't be free at the same time. When I look back on uh, the times in life where I thought I was free, there was no phones, there was no uh, way to find me. If I didn't want to be found, you couldn't. And by the time you figured out where I was, I'd been gone from there a long time ago. <laughs> so, because so, TV, you know, that taught me all that... Uh, like watching the fugitive travel and what was his name the the Hulk he just traveled from place to place and always got into some kind of shenanigans and had to turn into the Hulk and save somebody that never happened to me though I just had some fun you know did this did that went here went there and now I'm uh, done doing all that yeah David Banner the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> We ain't got much of a show today for you guys. I I don't know. I got off to a bad start with the computer. Windows is always so intrusive. You know, it does these updates every couple of months now. And when it does, it shifts shit around. And it's the kind of stuff that uh, I need people like Grimm to go into the computer and actually take a look at it. And because they know what they're looking at, fix it. You know? No, do I want company? Oh, no, no, no. I've got plenty of company. Me and my wife got it, got it down with the dog and the cat. And uh, when I've really, you know, now I've, I've pretty much, I can take people when they come by. You know, when the family comes by, it's, it's, it's not the same as, uh, I don't know how to put it. It's not so intrusive because these people get along with each other really good, you know. They could be arguing with each other in front of me, and I wouldn't know, unless you know, the tone would never give it away. So, mm. 
and sometimes they're in there yelling and carrying on, and, and but it's it's uh, just the way they talk about whatever that topic was. <laughs> it's too funny. So anyway, I came from this land of uh, difficulty and disagreement in America. Everybody had to be on a side. I was just trying to you know smoke my dope and get through it, but. Apparently, I chose the right road. You know? um, yeah, I'm having a dur moment. Okay, sometimes it happens because uh, I think it's because I'm alive, and I do not ever do a planned, write it down, and exactly what I'm going to do. Show I just do them, and sometimes I just <laughs> I prefer not to, but. I figure, well, I made the commitment, so I'll give, I'll give it a shot. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? It's going to at least fill some airtime for Grimm. Get a few stories out there. And then some of my wacky opinions, because I don't believe what everybody else believes. And they've all my life told me, hey, you're a nut job, blah, 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 blah. Here I am, 60. I'm going to be 61 in September. You know? So, if you... Qualify to be crazy by surviving the game, and the way that you're judged crazy is by your belief system. But your belief system seems to get you through what's bothering everybody else. <laughs> See, logic is it's gone. You, know? you Rob says he's uh, been doing it all wrong. <laughs> Everybody's been doing it all wrong. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. See, this is why I never do radio stoned. No, no, Grim. I, I I, do it stoned no matter what. It's just the way I do it. Got nothing to do with you guys. Oh. I'm just lucky enough to have the op, you know, opportunity to, to do it today while I'm alive. And then, you know, after I'm gone, hey, maybe somebody will dig this up and go, hey, look at this guy. Before all the war, he knew. <laughs> you know, because I'm predicting the freaking doom and gloom shit. Of course, I, I'm watching it from thousands of miles away through the Internet because I don't read Danish news. Cirque does. And sometimes she'll tell me what's going on in the Danish version of the news. And sometimes it's even something big. But usually not. Like that uh, Pompeo guy was here. What is... Oh, well, wait a minute. Rob's wiring me. Let me see what he's got to say. Uh, okay, wait a minute. i got to go to the uh, dark table. There we are. I get confused on the computer all by myself. I <laughs> have to read shit. Ah, sure, Rob. I'll give you... Here. Rob's going to come on and yell at me about the price of cigarettes. I think. We'll try anyway. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll hang up and then I'll wait for him to call me back. Because he'll know. Yeah, go ahead and give me a call there, Rob. And we'll answer to you instead. And we can, me and you can talk about why people should hide that ugly face behind a mask. <laughs> it's... Stop. I don't know. What are they doing? Are, how could they possibly believe that breathing in your own exhale? There he is. Ding to ding to ding to ding. Uh oh. You're going to breathe in your own exhale. Wait, you got to turn wait. something off there, Rob. Right? Ding to ding to ding to ding. Turn it off. Uh, got it. Hey, Rob works. From a dropping the dropping a coil show. <laughs> so what do you want to fight about? You want to fight about the mask? Are you for it? Or you uh, get it? Um, I get it. Yeah, yeah, me too. But why are you against it? Because they suck. Okay, well, we all we don't all. There's a few holdouts in the uh, uh, the e society that we participate in is open to opinion. You know, you don't have to be right to speak. It's called free well, speech, right? I'm against it for anybody that is, that is actually sick. And what would actually okay? What what would an actually sick person that needed a mask in the first place be doing in public? They should be locked down 
the state. Conference and hacking and all that. <laughs> they should be home. Get them the fuck out of the store. Now, don't. The thing I was about to say, the only people that need masks are people that are sick. And if you're sick, you need to stay the fuck home. <laughs> I know. I agree. <laughs> we can't fight about this. But you're right. I agree on too much to, to have fights. Um, it's just, uh, it's just ridiculous. The, 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 I don't even have fucking words for it. Um, I know it's, it's beyond, it's beyond explain. I've been away for nine years, come up September, right? <laughs> and if you would have told me this before I left that at, before 10 years were up, Americans would be begging to wear masks in public. Because yeah. they're afraid. I would have thought you're out of your fucking mind. Yep. All right. I, nine years ago, I thought America was the toughest fucking place I'd ever lived. The hardcore of the world live in the United States, and now, I now I don't think that anymore. Not much surprises me. Hasn't in decades, but yeah, I might have said I doubt it, but. Uh, I wouldn't have discounted the idea. Hey, JJ Saint is from St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hey, yep. JJ. I was just gl- glanced at the thing and saw my name, and I never see my name very often. It's usually connected to an insult. Right. I, I, my butt, my invisible friend I like to toy with. Oh, anyway. Fucking tell me what to do. I can't help it. <laughs> you know what? I think I bring that out of people, though, or either that, or I hear it that way because I was raised with it. It's it's hard to define. Yeah. You know, you didn't hear what I was saying anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you were telling me, don't tell me, uh, fuck, tell me what to do. Oh, I was telling you what Grim said in the chat room. He says I'm against masks because don't tell me what yeah. fucking what. To do. That well, I tried to say that, but I didn't say it correctly. But that was the line I got it from. Yeah, well, I was listening, sort of, because I <laughs> have superpowers when I'm stoned. You know that? Oh, you know what I can do when I'm stoned that I can't do when I drink? What's that? Think. Yeah. If Thank if I drink instead of smoke, the thinking stops at a certain point. But uh-huh. I, I smoke. I'm fine I, until I get tired and want to go to bed. But I'm an old man now. I can do that. I, yeah, can, I got. That's what I say. You never seen anybody smoke a joint and want to go out and pick a fight with somebody. Never. Oh, the last thing in the fucking world. That's why. That's why they. Yeah. Go, uh, the Indians were talking about the peace pipe. They sit in yeah. a circle and they smoke from the pipe until the anger was burned up. Nobody was mad anymore. Then they can be reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, because people the, know you can't you can't get nothing accomplished if you're arguing. But then we brought them fire water. Yeah, see, every, yeah, they did the same thing with the Greenland people. They don't. Yeah. yeah, they they're the way they can drink too. There's a couple of brothers down the road, and they're they like their beer, but phew, I don't think they know what city they're in or what what year it is. But they're fun to be. I mean, they're nice people. They're you know, and all that. They're fun to be around. They're they're not hurting anybody, except right. themselves. But they're self. Yeah. Well, I think that by coming to the mainland here, because where they're from, they don't have the same um, things aren't available to them in the public that are available yeah. to them here in Denmark. So they <laughs> they come back and forth. You know, then when we start drinking, they don't stop until they go back home. Jeez. Mm. It's amazing. And their whole physical, the way they uh, absorb it, Cirque's explained it to me a little bit better. But I'm not good with retelling other people's history, as you no doubt have learned over the years. I always fuck up some detail. But it's all bullshit anyway, Rob, so who cares? Yeah. In 100 years from now, they're going to be going, "Ah." That Elon Musk was a great thief, wasn't he? Oh, is, uh, on the wire saying hello. Who is? Uh, Larry. Larry Woods. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Larry. How you doing? 
Hi, guys. Doing great. Hey, it's good to hear you're alive, old man. Yeah, I just stop by to listen in. Ah, no shit. Go ahead. Say something nice to Rob. He's in a good mood today. Rob, you're a good guy. <laughs> Quit bitching. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get better. Smoke another joint. Yeah. Oh, I see that. And remember, where there's a whip, there's a way. Yeah. <laughs> I think I share Rob's anger in the sense of we're a part of it from it. We're, we're separated by paper from it in a way that you can't help even if you want to help. And the help that you have, she, we can both show you it works, but nobody believes it. They, Is that like being in the world but not of the world yeah but they call it lucky instead of what it truly is <laughs> you know i don't i don't look at their their problems with the government as being unlucky i look at their problems with government as a, a product of their own good work you have a question hmm? I do, don't I? Hey, JJ's in St. Louis, Missouri says, I hope it's not a bad question. Flash, one day, can you tell us how to leave the country and how you went about doing it? I'm scared on making it happen. I have only moved locally. Oh, well, what actually happened is uh, my mother it was English when she was alive. I was born in the United States, but through my adult life, traveled to England a few times uh, for periods of time, sometimes six months at a stretch. I did that twice. And then a couple other times I went for uh, two months, three months. Because, you know, I don't like to visit for two or three days. I figure if I'm going to go see a country, I'm going to go see it. So, so you were already traveling international. Mm -hmm. So anyway, when I'm uh, in... 2011, my roommate at the time, girlfriend, wanted to meet my mom. She'd been friends with her on the Internet and this, that, and the other. And these two decided they wanted to meet. And my passport had just expired, and I didn't want to go. They said, no, nah, I've been to England so many times, but it's your mom, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all right. So to make a real long story short, I gave in and said, sure, I'll go to shut everybody up. Okay, so here we are. This is like the beginning of 2011. So it takes a few months to get your passport and all your paperwork together and book flights and all this, that, and the other. So we're supposed to go for 30 days in September. And we get there in September and find out my father died eight days before we showed up. Oh, shit. My mother's in a wheelchair bound. She doesn't tell me she can't walk anymore. She's in a wheelchair. So, yeah, so instead of returning to the States, I stayed on there to help her. Yeah. And then I, when I was ready to leave her, because she had fine, you know, gotten this more intensive care, and I was just in the way by this point. So I, I decided to leave, and I had met Cirque <laughs> right after I went, I'm going to Spain. And wait a minute, I meet this girl. <laughs> Hold on, Spain will wait. And then, uh, but what it what it was, boy, I guess what it boiled down to is when I did my traveling, I always got a round trip ticket because when you buy one way tickets, you attract the attention of the uh, Thorita, and then they want to get all up your ass and why are you going there? When you buy a round trip ticket, then they just yeah, that just, is more acceptable, sure. right? Well, things changed since those days, though. Yeah. But, but. Uh, I just never showed any interest to return. And then uh, when me and Cirque met, <laughs> we figured that let's beat, you know, let's legally, let's get together and let's beat the, uh, what do you call it, immigration game and all that. So we got married legally to get the state off my back. Uh -huh. And that's that. But Cirque doesn't have any interest in going to America. So. I don't know. Yeah, I know. And she, be the last place I'd want to go. She's going to outlive me by just, you know, the odds. I'm a little bit older than she is, so. Barring hmm. accidents and things like that. Well, yeah, but she's 
pretty careful about, you know, making sure I don't, you know, eat crappy food. And she, Nah, she takes more right. more concern about me not dying than interest in me croaking. <laughs> so, yeah, well. That, uh, she hasn't been with you long enough. Though. Well, I don't know. I guess it was a long answer, but that, how do, how do you do that? I don't know. How did you, when you went to Germany, right? Well, did you? I think, I think the answer you had, the, 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 he's looking for you don't have for him because you didn't set out to leave the country and not come back. Oh, no, that was just the way it rolled that way. If she would have been in South America, that's where I'd be. It it was about where the girl was. (laughs) Had nothing to do with the country. And I didn't care if she was in America. I'd have just gone back to the States. Oh, yeah. But the point being is you didn't set out to leave the country. Oh, no, no. That was a byproduct of just... Or yeah, it just yeah. that was a uh, uh, happenstance of circumstance. Yeah, fortune, the way yeah. it rolls. Could yeah. have been, yeah, it could have been. Anything could happen in life. It's just amazing. Just got to get out there and see, you know. It, and if uh, uncertainty is your enemy, that's understandable. But if fear is your enemy, you need to combat that. Get over that. But uncertainty that just goes with not knowing what's going to happen next. So in in full answer to your question, yeah, fuck over it and live, do it. Oh yeah, especially a, a, the tighter the chains that the state wants sure. around me yeah. is, the further I'm going to go away. But yeah. the the reality of it is, my wife is a statist on paper, so we get to play the straw man game as a team, instead of me being out there doing anything. I just do it on paper. Da, 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 da. Yeah. The same thing I'm doing. You just use the system's rules to benefit yourself as yeah. best as you can. And some people, this is where Hal Anthony comes in handy too, Rob. Some people yeah. relate to that that mentality. It attracts them. So they want that legal information. I, I'm not interested in that. Well, well, are you still here? Am I? What? Yeah. Oh, hey, Larry. Yeah. I wouldn't shut up, huh? Okay, I'm done. No, no. That's, I'm enjoying <laughs> it. Keep on. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, just... what are you Larry? Yes? What's your opinion? Well, let me say it like this. I'm only on my own, from my own free will, left the country one time. Uh, the rest of the time was all military. Uh but I went to Indonesia, and everybody was saying, oh, be careful over there. Those people are Muslims. They'll lie to you. They'll cheat you. They'll kill you. And, well, I went over there, and those people are nicer and better and better Christians than we are. Uh, all they want is to be left alone love their families, make enough money to eat, and it it's, was the nicest place that I've ever been. Yeah. Uh, so don't accept the propaganda from people in America because we're all assholes. Yeah, in other words, don't listen to Hans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but poor poor guy, he believes what he's reading. That's I guess that's what makes all life real is what you what you read you believe and then you pass it on to other people. Yeah. And the common man's it's knowledge is garbage. I don't have that problem. Well, you uh, do on the internet webs when you chat in a room. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Oh. I'll be right back. Well. Well, Okay, in life, like Larry, me and Larry don't have that in life either. The confrontation. I don't know. Maybe if you go to a store without a mask, I don't know. What do they do to you, Larry? Oh, Lord. In my county, the health department is monitoring the restaurant, restrooms, restaurants, restrooms, restaurants. Okay. And so we got kicked out last night for walking through the door without a mask on. And I said, I'm just here to eat. Yeah. You're going to move me six feet away from the people that are already eating, put me at a table that's already separated from everybody else. 
I can't get to take my mask off when I eat. And they said, oh, no, you can't come in here because if you do, we will get fined. Well, yeah. that ain't fine with me. Wow. So we left, and I probably won't ever go back to that restaurant again. That's how it works. But it's and, political. And here, it? Yeah, it's political. And over here, our damn baseball teams or sports teams are putting on a mask and kneeling to their masters. Wow. I will not do that. Wow. Good for you. I'm sorry. No, I. Oh, man. See, it's these people that are afraid of everything. Good God. Walk into a room calmly and serenely. Mm. Look at everybody in the room and figure out who you're going to kill first. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just. Throw an electrician's belt on and you walk in and everybody will bow to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ah, come on, Larry. You, and you were just telling Rob to cheer up. <laughs> oh, how the, how the, the shadow changed. Huh? You got you to gotta go in there and figure out who you're going to get first. I'll cheer everybody up, right? And that's oh, the I one that's that. the most afraid. Yeah, but you know, I don't think like that. And when when I was at the bar the other day, outside, right? People are eating outside, and you got to step right, just, you know, you're brushing by them, and they know it. it's just part of living here. And nobody gets excited or freaks out. I saw kids getting rides on dad's shoulders and uh, moms and daughters holding hands. It's very old-fashioned here. I walked into a store this morning with no mask on. Nobody said peep to me. <laughs> They're probably scared of you by now. <laughs> now I'm seeing people riding around in their cars with the windows up and masks on. How stupid That's is that? Bad. <laughs> but Rob keeps going back to the same place, right? <laughs> right, Rob? No, I was the only no? first and last in there. Oh, I thought, you, okay, you were making comments a couple, of, maybe a week ago. About, yeah, we're talking about my breakfast restaurant where I go yeah. for breakfast. How do they? It's a real small place, and I know the waitress, and actually buy my weed from her. So. Yeah, but how do they treat you with the masks and all that shit there? I don't go inside really hard. Though. Oh, oh, oh. Because over here, man, nothing. And we're, and shit, I usually yeah. just pick up. The only place hard. that really is going gone all with the plastic and all that shit is the grocery store. Yeah, I I don't really think you know uh, it's not necessary, but well, yeah. some people I don't know they can't hurt anything. It's just it's uh, insulting to be yeah. treated like this. Like I'm I'm some kind of thing that's too ignorant to take care of itself. So I need rules to follow so I can survive. Fuck you! I was surviving way longer than this bullshit. <laughs> Like I said the other day, the ones that really get to me are the ones driving around in their car along with a fucking mask on. Yeah, this stuff didn't start heavy until what, the 90s, Larry? You figure? Or do you remember? Oh, we've, we've been losing our rights right along, and it's our fault because we let them do it. Right, but when it really started to, to be heavy was like 90, the end of the 80s. We yeah. had a little bit of freedom, and then all of a sudden I turned 30, and then I noticed, boy, things changed. Everybody got nasty. It was, oh, yeah. The world got cruel in the 90s. Very selfish. What are you looking at? Mm. Don't yeah. smile at me. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And then I'm I'm the blind guy. I was looking at the clock that you're sitting in front of. I couldn't tell what time it was. <laughs> I'm the lead. <laughs> nah, I never. I, I don't like to run away. I'd rather take the argument and see if we're going to have a fight or not. And it hasn't happened since, God, I was in my late 20s. Well, I, I got pushed into a fireplace. wasn't even a fight. That's right, Jojo. He said, what pisses me off is they get rid of the law to require a motorcycle helmet, but you need a mask that does not work. <laughs> For fuck's sake, at a helmet does. Yeah, yeah. It still should be optional if you don't want to work. Because I, I rode a bike, and, and when I wrecked mine, I was wearing one. But there were a lot of times I'd ride without a helmet, too. And I rode a trike without a helmet, so 
Uh, I don't know. I think a lot of it has to do with your uh, your luck. Because <laughs> I was hit by another bike on a in a dirt riding situation. That should have never happened, but anyway. When I was young, we had metal toys with sharp edges. Yeah, baby. We played with knives. If you got hurt, it was your own damn fault. And there was dirt and water to fix just about any fucking problem you'd have. Absolutely. And during my electrical life, if I cut my hand at work, electrical tape went around it to stop the bleeding. That's right. I still had, I still prefer that stuff. I haven't, no. I haven't used it in years, but when I was working with an electrician, I did, because I, I'd scratch it myself a few times. But, well, yeah, stuff sharp. I was younger and careless, you know, cut my finger That's or something. Crazy. Just rub a little dirt in it. Yeah, exa- and people go, what the fuck's wrong with you? No. If, if, you, if, you, if you're out in the woods and, and shove a thorn up your foot, take your shoe off, go to the river, get some black, nasty snow and river mud, put it on that puncture wound, and when the mud dries, it's drawn all of the bad stuff out of that wound, and you wipe it off, and it's not sore anymore. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And you know this because how many times have you done it? God, thousands. <laughs> See, I, <laughs> so I mean, I tried. I tried one whole season of hunting in rubber galoshes kind of boots to keep my feet dry. Yeah. Well, that's fine, but the thorns don't even see that boot. They go right through it. Ow. And just <laughs> grab up some mud, throw it on there. When it dries, you're healed and wipe it off. <laughs> I never got hoof and mouth or whatever you can get, ty- typhoid fever or tetanus or whatever. Yeah. Lop jaw. Lop jaw, yeah. Well, you know, I'm I'm really surprised about the most over this whole last eight months is we're, nobody that I know that I verbally speak to is dead. Yeah. Everybody's nobody. still accountable. Nobody that I know has even got it. Some people I know have caught a cold since it started. That's what it is. It, it's yeah. yeah, but it's it's a cold with a new name. It's called something worse so that you'll be afraid of it instead of this is just so typical of the modern times. And they were saying this when I was growing up, how things were changing and it wasn't good. Now I can look back and I see what they're talking about now. Oh, what a fucking nightmare. We got freedom handed to us, in, in, but it was disguised. It wasn't really freedom. It was something else. But if you were, uh, say, a student at school and you learned all about how, what's his name, old Lincoln freed the slaves, they just eliminate the part about how, well, yeah, and then they made everybody a slave. Yeah. They eliminated the part that the war was mainly over terrorists and not slavery. Money, money, money. Yeah, they wanted to consolidate it and tax it. Uh, the southern states are sick and fucking tired of the federal government overreaching its authority and telling the states what the fuck to do. Yep. That's what the fucking war was about. And it's still... And where where does all this go? Nowhere. You got people out there begging for more lockdown, begging for more uh, mandates on face masks. And we lost... Oh, I got a question for you two, because I'm over here in Denmark. Are those walls of mom, wait, mom, mom walls? I saw a video, but I don't know if it's a made-up video or not. Is that real? I, I, I have no first-hand knowledge of it. I saw the same articles you did. No, I saw a link, a video link, and the cops were gassing these old women. Well, not maybe old, but, you know, women, older women, too. It wasn't like they were all in their 20s or anything. It was like a lot of women. And I could not understand why the why would the police be, you know, throwing gas bombs at them? What are they afraid of? So all this looks like to me sitting over here is the police pushing people around because they won't listen. Not because they're doing anything. It's because they won't listen to the uh, order given, whatever that is. 
follow their unlawful orders. So were, yeah. were they were they in a park and off the streets, or were they blocking traffic? No, it didn't look like any of that to me. What I saw of it, it looked like they were standing on concrete squares that I could tell. So no, it looked like they were inside of a. It didn't look like they were blocking anything except for the police. And the police were throwing canisters of smoky shit at them. Some of that crap has gone on in Kansas City. Not very much, but some of it. Yeah. In Independence, 10 miles to the east of Kansas City, we don't have any of that shit. Uh. Nobody demonstrates. Nobody is out rioting and tearing down statues. And it's just ridiculous. Go thing. Well, and what... Country that that's the case. It's only happening in a very few isolated yeah. places. Yeah. Oh, okay. Afford to pay people to do that shit for. Yeah. What about yeah. those guys? They pull up in like a silver, like a car, uh, minivan looking thing, and then two guys get out and they go get this protester, and they don't say anything. They just take them away and drive off. <laughs> it's like what? Is this plays? Yeah. Are people playing with us, making videos, or is that the government doing what the government does? Well, they probably saw that person in a video or on the on the cameras that are everywhere, destroying something or breaking the law, and rather than causing a problem by arresting them in front of everybody, hmm. they wait a while, find them, and pick them up. They do it. David correct. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. For those of you who have no memory, David Koresh was the leader of the Branch Davidians in Waco. Boy, see, you're so mean, Rob. Don't be so mean. You are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, all right. So, all right, what do you guys feel about this, though? Are you okay with the government? No. Physically taking people away like that? Is that a, okay? Rob's no. Here. Larry? I think that's better than trying to arrest them in the big crowd where they have to gas and beat everybody. But I'm not for it. Okay. It, yeah. I, I'm, all, I'm all for busting the rioters, the <laughs> looters, and the people that destroy private property. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Bust their ass now. That is not according to the Constitution. The Constitution says peaceful demonstrations, peaceful protest. That ain't peaceful. If you want the government to change, get a petition started. If enough people feel the same way you are, they'll have to do something about it if it's just put it into a committee. Yeah, JJ's saying he's been a provocateur and he knows. And my wife was a provocateur here in Denmark. So she knows. And I've been whatever I am oh. <laughs> for a long time. And I see the... Stop, flash. What? You just said JJ has been a provocateur before. And that's not true. That's not what he said. Uh, oh, what I meant was being familiar with... Okay, well, okay. You, you got me. No. I was, and then say, "Oh, well, I just, you know." What I mean is understanding that that exists. <laughs> well, Sark was one though. She she did all that in her day. She was a provocateur for the cops. Not for the cops, more or less. Uh, but she was <laughs> she was part of her Danish thing, <laughs> and the Danes protested against the government. The young people did to get where they got now. Yeah. And they got a lot of good shit done, bitching and complaining and protesting here. Where in the States, you just bring on more fucking stri uh, stricter rules because there's so many people to monitor. It's easier that way. Here, they're accountable for their fucking decisions. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's smaller, small... In yeah. Man, therein lies the problem. Everybody gets a, a trophy. Everybody, nobody's left behind. Hmm. That's what the problem is. Nobody is taught that they are responsible for their actions. Hmm. Well, they yeah. use a good part of their uh, tax structure here to help their their population, their civilian population. Like they they pay for your education here. 
Instead of you borrowing money, they invest in you. So it's a much better social situation to be in. Yes, Larry is on the dark table with us. You want to come join us too, Missy? Yes, because we held, we got him held with duct tape and bubble wrap. Yeah. <laughs> Are you bubble wrap for the dark table, Larry? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> protect I love you it. from. Are you ready for this? Protect you from the wooden furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was doing a solo, so I'm glad you guys came along. It broke me because I. I don't know. I don't like to do radio solo too much. I just felt like it. <clears throat> well, good. Because I felt like, uh, well, I was having more internet trouble. I This Windows is the most intrusive fucking service. But it's idiot proof, so I can operate it. Where uh, okay. The other one, Linux, to use Linux and do the radio and all that off it, oh, man, drives me nuts. All that coding, programming stuff, typing, got to know this. and got, well, Windows yeah. is like push a button twice, push a button once. It's for morons. <laughs> so, it's not yeah. like I'm not saying, hey, you know, I could do a better job on Linux. I'm saying quite the opposite. I need a programmer, like a producer <laughs> for that. We have a round, round dork table. Ah, oh, hey. Ah, wow. Dork tables should never have corners. <laughs> Somebody could trip and get hurt. But the good thing is well, you don't wear a mask at the dork table. But you have to wear pants. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh-oh, I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. Now the women will all want to come on to the dark table. No, I've never had that problem, Grimner. I've never had a program deleted. I've never had my settings change or any of that shit. Off of Windows? On Windows 10. I've never had, I don't, I don't well, have crash. My shit don't crash. Yeah. Well, maybe you have a secret that you need to share with the rest of us, Mr. Robert. Yeah, I know a little bit about how a fucking computer works. Okay, can you just be a little nicer about it? Just humor me here. Okay, now tell me how this works where I could apply it or maybe some links up here to be helpful instead of grouchy. <laughs> Fucker. Dang it, Bobby. I know. I, I'm just going to put it out there and make Rob nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, Greg says he hasn't had any wind turn machines. Um, just read about it. Well, yeah, you know, you put four billion machines out there, you're going to have a few that are fucked up. Um, oh. No. It, it's, yeah. it's really all about, you know, the user. I'm sorry, but that's... Oh, true. yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. it's, it's, you know, because I've, I've, I've done tech support. I've, hmm. I worked for Intel for a while Ooh. doing tech support for their networking. Product. But you're a computer nerd. Right. And that's just it. I see things, you know, that just are obvious to me. And I could spend 30 minutes on the phone with somebody trying to get them to point to tell me that one little thing that they're not seeing. Ah. That, that can be difficult because they're like not seeing pop, Yeah. Like a pop story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> or like the story of dropping a coil show for the first 12 weeks. That's my Monday meeting every fucking week. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. That's true. You want to learn computers? Build one. True. Yeah. yeah. And install a system on it. And 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 then read the freaking help files. Hmm. The freaking help system for, for Windows and Linux is, is massive. Ooh. Uh, you can learn. That's how I taught myself. I don't have any formal schooling to learn how to run a computer. Ooh. I've never been able to learn how to, anything about computers. Well, other than classes we took at Intel, internal classes, hmm. which is where I learned my networking stuff. But uh, well, as long as you wear a mask in public, you can learn anything you want. You know. <laughs> You know, you can pretty much learn anything you want to online now anyway. Exactly. There's, I posted it 
from how many times? Twelve dozen places to educate yourself online for free. I've posted that in there at nauseam. Well, still, without knowing how the, the coding operates and all that crap that you guys are all excited about, I can no still clue. I can still navigate a link, you know, and find out uh, what you like. For example, here's a good point to make on the radio. When I was a kid in school, we were taught about the revolution in 1770 something, right? Right? The revolution, forefathers, George Washington, all that shit. We all got that. Did you guys not yeah. learn that shit too? Yeah. Oh, okay. I learned their side of it. Okay, now, right, but the point I'm leading up to is that they uh, they never mentioned the War of 1812 in any detail in my education. No, they don't. You're right about that. Do you know no, why? Really? About the War of 1812 is from the freaking song. Right, but you know why they don't want to bring that to your attention? Along with Colonel Jackson down the mighty Mississippi. Yeah, but the English burned Washington City to the ground. They yeah. burned all the books, they burned all the paperwork, and what they claim in, in 18, like, 14 is, well, which was, it? John Adams had copies of these particular books. Wait a minute. Now, the English went through all this trouble to burn everything, but except they missed these particular books from one guy. Yeah. Hmm. See, the whole story is all related to... Who tells it to you? And then yeah. where did they get their information from? It's just like the, the Whiskey Rebellion. Most people never even heard of that. Well, tell them about it. I, when they uh, first did Prohibition. <laughs> I think that's what it was. Um, uh, they used to poison uh, the alcohol. Yeah, they were poisoning the alcohol and all kinds of shit. Which they did with weed, too, or have and do. Yeah, Paraquat. California. Yeah. Well, that was a rumor. I never smoked any of that. But I lived in, in California through the period where uh, it was big on the news. I was a teenager, I think. Yeah, and they were threatening, oh, they're going to spray the marijuana crops with paraquat when you smoke it okay. you'll get sick I was, um, it was a different different than what i was thinking the whiskey rebellion also known as the whiskey insurrection was a tax protest in the united states beginning in 1791 and ending in 1794 during the presidency of george washington ultimately under the command of american revolutionary war veteran major james mcfarlane uh, the so-called whiskey tax was the first tax imposed on a domestic product by the newly formed federal government Beer was difficult to transport and spoil more easily than rum and whiskey. Rum just, I don't know why that sentence was even in there. Uh, wrote this shit. Rum distillation, uh, who cares? It has nothing to do. Anyways, it was, uh, it was over the whiskey tax. So the first uh, tax on a, a, uh, imposed on a domestic product. They, that's they. They tried. Uh, they rebelled against that. They had a rebellion, or an insurrection, even, um, just because they taxed it. And, and now people are are just laying down when they're told to and not now, leave their house. Now they tell them that you can't leave your house, or you have to wear a, a, a muzzle. Wow. Uh, no. Nah. And people fall over. <sighs> and and. and uh, and start shit with other people for not rolling over. Wow. Well, if they're masked and they're safe, what do they care what you do? And that's the part that's weird. But your mask works. Why the fuck are you worried yeah. about me? Yeah. Why? Well, who are you? What? Nah. See, that just goes to show which side of the whip you're on. Exactly. Wow. I'll pass. You guys can okay. have it. Back to the Read point. The bomb. The whiskey rebellion. Mm. You didn't learn about that in school? No. No, God, no. They're not going to teach you that people rebelled because of a tax. <laughs> Other than the Boston Tea Party, which by some accounts was fake. 
See, there you go. Because everything that we've been told over the lifetime has been either exaggerated, uh, mishandled, misrepresented on purpose. You name it. I, I was in grade school during the Cold War with Russia. Oh, I thought you were going to say the Whiskey Rebellion. <laughs> well, almost, almost. Uh, uh, and, and we were taught that if you get under your desk and put your hands over your head, that you'll be safe from the atomic bomb. Yeah, right. It's all propaganda. Yeah, I knew that shit at the time, in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's that. all propaganda. I knew it was bullshit. I mean, they show you the films. Oh, they yeah. Films of, Nag- of Hiroshima and stuff, and the bombs going off, and like, yeah, <laughs> climbing into my face is going to stop that. <laughs> and, and 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 then they terrify you, right. and, and yeah. give you literature to take home to your parents about a backyard bomb shelter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and they didn't tell you that radioactive particles cannot turn a 90 degree turn and that in your in your bomb shelter you would have to have at least two 90 degree turns to be safe from it not just right. a big hole in the ground with a lid on it right oh that <laughs> sounds like a cooking pot <laughs> yeah it does doesn't it yeah. yeah that's how my wife makes potatoes sometimes puts them in the pot puts the top on it boils the water in it <laughs> Amazing how that works with people, because you know, because we're so smart. We're smart, Michael. We're smart. I want respect. Women is dead. Oh my God, that's it. It's what? The end of the world. Oh, uh, the, the world is the world is fine. It's we're these just... fucking chimpanzees that run around telling other people what to do that are okay, the problem. That's gonna be fine. It's going to be fine when they start falling dead because of their fear, and we're free of them. Sadly, there's no other choice. They will not reason. Uh, they won't read the freaking truth and understand it, so let them die. Yeah, I think I said that in the chat room the other day. Is, uh, something along the lines of a, oh, I might have stole it from you then. I don't know. I'm not claiming I, to be original here, Rob. I'm just saying that I've succumbed to the point of you know, if people are so ignorant that they don't know they're hurting their self and you've tried to tell them, how many times can you try before you get bored of talking about it? <laughs> yeah. I was listening to an old show I did. An older, not real old, but back from May. I did a solo dork table. It was amazing that I had the, the opinions of uh, this whole thing. Because when I do those solo things, I don't really know what I'm talking about when I'm doing it. I'm just saying things. Uh, it's not like they're researched and written down and these are brilliant ideas. It's just, hmm, I saw this coming. <laughs> it says 37 times, Flash. 37. Hmm. What does that mean? 37 times. Okay. I don't know. I have no idea. Thirty-seven times, whatever it is. Doe wants them to protest the Federal Reserve. Well, that's because most of your people don't know what it means. They've got no idea what Federal Reserve really is. They believe what they've been told. Don't research yeah. shit. Oh, I have a clue. And then even if you were to research certain things on the Internet as a source, chances are you could come up with something promoting the uh, Federal Reserve as the first thing you see telling you how wonderful it is, all that good shit, and never get to the part where, uh, but <laughs> this is how they do the, the banking part of it, you know. They paint a really broad picture of a pretty thing, and then they hide the truth about it. <laughs> how many times can you talk about something before you get tired of it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, I remember that. Well, because <laughs> it's so it, it's so personal because I have family and friends in the Americas, and it's a, like I'm watching this from a distance, and it's horrible to see it. Yeah. Because I came well, from a tough fucking country where people didn't put up with shit like this. Wow. 
Uh, that country's gone. Boo! It must be. And, and then, uh, then it gets worse. I'm reading now. Uh, no, Mom, no, no, no. walls of moms to fight the police. Walls of um, uh, what the other one was? Uh, military, um, not the reserve, but retirees. <laughs> what? So you got the people are fighting the military and the state police within the boundaries yes. of your own country, and people don't see that that's something's wrong with that. That shouldn't even happen at all. They should have never got. They should have negotiated their way out of this. There's no returning from what they've started. And I don't yeah. feel that when I voice that opinion, it's really. I don't think I'm drawing a crowd when I say things like that. But I'm telling you what I feel about it. How I see the the game before me looks really, really bad. Yeah, what well, they say? It's darkest before. Or the dawn. Well, we still have energy to do the internet with, so we can stay in contact and talk to each other in real time and all that. I think they know that if they take the internet down, they're going to have a major shitstorm on their hands. Well, they take the internet down, and kids won't know how to talk to one another. I don't remember. Remember the Arab Spring, Larry? Yeah. Oh yeah. And the, and the Arabs took the fucking internet down. And the hackers put it right back up using secondhand shit and routers. Yep. Yeah. So, nah, there's enough nerds in America to survive a government. They just haven't been pushed yet. Yeah, well, uh, that sounds good, but... No, no, I, I... Okay, wait, let me make this a little bit more clear to you then. The Grimners and the Rob Works... Hello, wait, wait. You, there's age groups where people like yourself and Grimm exist. And when the time comes for them to be necessary, they'll, they'll come up. And they'll be using them. But right now, nobody needs it. Well, yeah. But what about yeah. what we learned about the 5G tower? If that's true, what they said about um, them using the right frequency, the 432, right? Yeah, that that's a healing tower instead of a destructive tower. So yeah, they they've inverted it. Okay, now we've got younger people that are coming up behind us that know a lot of this shit way better than we do. They just haven't collected it, and, and if they have, they're doing what we've done, collected amongst themselves. So they're out there ready for the shit to hit the fan if it does. Yeah, that's okay. what I think. Yeah. Wait. Say the shit does hit the fan. Yeah. Power, power is turned off. That means that you won't have water, you won't have electricity, you won't have heat. How many of your audience knows how to start a fire without a match? <laughs> That's why they're calling the herd now. So when the shit hits the fan, it'll be a lot less work to take care of those around you. You know? It's easy. Use your lighter. <laughs> Cirque taught herself how to make a fire out in the backyard. We dug a burn pit out there, and she puts uh, bricks in there. She knows what she's doing. Let Let me give you a chemical formula for starting a fire. Oh, my eyeglasses and direct sunlight. Well, that would work too. Yeah, but get to, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, guys. I was just a learning test on people. Yeah, well, here, here it comes. Two paper cups. Yeah. A bottle of chlorine bleach and a bottle of pine salt, which is simply pine oil. In one paper cup, put about a half an inch of chlorine bleach. Set that way away from you. In another paper cup, Put about a half an inch of pine salt or pine oil. It's the same thing. When you put those two cups next to one another without mixing the chemicals, as the fumes gather and the fumes mix, that will start a fire. Wow. Oh, and for the eyesight impaired, if you have an extra pair of glasses around for the daylight, you always can start a fire with that. So, you know, because I've worn eyes my whole life, so I've never been without, except when I didn't want to have them. But there wasn't a whole lot of that. I like to read. 
<laughs> I can't read without glasses. Will that work with a, a contacts and a pair of tweezers? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> but the but I'm sure there's well, I was reading on the chat and I think it was uh was it who said that? Uh something about matches and lighters. Oh well. Mm. Kate says she has a box of wooden matches and fifty lighters. That's for the it. Zombie. And and I just thought if Kate has <clears throat> eyeglasses to always remember that too. Keep a spare of old eyeglasses. And <laughs> they come yeah. in handy if you need a fire. Perkins convenience store, any convenience store, and buy a pair of three dollar pair of reading glasses. Because shit gets wet and all that. There's all kinds of variables too. Right. Right. Nature is got her hands full with us. What do you do? You, that chemical thing start a slow fire, or is it an explosion? No, it's not an explosion. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just a good flame. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> says, I'm not trying to set off a freaking net. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, somebody posted a while back uh, a deal about... Uh, Using ash, you can take uh, any kind of uh, tinder. Uh, the guy was using straw or moss or uh, any kind of fiber, fibrous dry stuff. And you, I mean, ash is just any kind of ash from the fire. And you mix ashes in it. And mix uh, it. If, if you take a cotton ball, yeah. And, and put the ash in it and roll it up. That'll be really, really good tender, and it burns longer. And you use that, and then you use your your glasses or your magnifying glass to spark that off, and it just take right off. Well, if you just use those two chemicals to start your fire, that'll stay burning until the chemicals both evaporate. Yeah, but who's gonna took uh, chlorine and fucking pine salt around with? Well, you've got it under your kitchen sink already. I guess you could uh, get a couple of small containers. Doesn't sound like you need much of it. No, it doesn't. Uh oh. And and you don't even have to have a cup. You could just put a couple of little power drops next to each other on a piece of wood. Yeah. If you should mix up just fine that way. Yeah. And do it. I've never heard that one, Larry. Thank you. You're welcome. Moose says he doesn't have pine saw. <laughs> what do I use? <laughs> it's it's in most furniture polish. Yeah. Dryer lint's good for making fire starters. Welding sparker, yeah, yeah, one of those welding uh starter uh sparkers. Yeah. Sparker cutting torch. That that's good for the spark. And a bird's and, nest is really good for the tender. And you have the old uh, magnesium and steel rods you can get. Fire starter kit. Yeah, the dollar store has pine sole. Yeah, the dollar store. Get it for a dollar. Wow. Now, see, there's something I don't really miss. Oh, that's not going to work for Missy. She doesn't like pine sole. Yeah, well, whatever. They got your choice of organic or chemical here. <laughs> so if you if you choose to go the chemical and you don't give a fuck about the results, they don't stop you. And if you choose to use the you know biodegradable, healthy or what do they call it here? Well, it's organic here. Then there you go. They label it for you so you know this product is and this one. If it's not labeled a certain way, you know well chemicals. That's all good if you believe. It. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. By the results, by looking at the uh, the results around me, yeah, sure. A lot of healthy kids. Well, good. Over the the time that I've been here, I, I've seen people wheel bear, uh, wheelchair bound and shit, young kid, but rarely, like maybe to memory, maybe a half a dozen times in six years. How many people are overweight over there? Oh, a good amount. Probably more than half, yeah. 
Now, on the young side, less. I think it's like probably at, I don't know, 25% under under 30. And over 30, the food, it's the, the people don't understand food. We all have terrible um, addictions to crap. I have mine, I, but I know what they are. It's not like I'm surprised, wait a minute, I'm eating garbage here. I know this is doing it, so it's. I think it's an advantage. You eat your poison knowingly. Yeah, yeah. Where I, where I don't think other people take this food thing seriously as I do, and they and eat it fast that, food. I think it actually matters. If you're aware, mm-hmm. you're, and you're putting it, I think it matters in how your body processes shit. Your body, I think, <laughs> being yeah. amazing. And it can do a lot more than people give it credit for. Exactly. Oh, go ahead. I was just agreeing with you, Rob. Yeah. Um, I don't disagree. So, I, I, if anything, if I I've tried to promote that idea. Yeah. We give ourselves a lot of shit, each other a lot of shit and all, but what we're capable of is fucking amazing. Especially in a group, like Larry's group. Put into my system, I should be sickly. But I'm not. Because you know, yeah, because you know it. And if you use additives <laughs> like snake oil, <laughs> see, all the time the snake oil find that you found was for you. And if other people don't get it, that's on them. The sad part, that's the horrible truth where we're at in history. Nobody trusts each other anymore. We're all trying to do something, blah, 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 blah. That ain't the way it is. So it we looks. talked about that for three hours this morning. How do you get the group to trust what I say and just do it? It's not electrically sound. It won't work unless you put a load on it. There's invisible circuits that are magnetic only that generate enough electricity for you to run stuff off of, but nobody believes it. Nobody will try. Oh, well, there you go. That's the, exactly where I was going to, yeah? Because of failure, there is lack of lack of even trying. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not guilty of that. Uh, so, like I tell uh, the guys who I fish with, you're not going to catch your fish unless your plug's in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Basic yeah, math. The simple things are so complicated, Larry. You got to do this to get that. What? I have to do something. Get the. Don't tell me what to do. (laughs) I'm not going to wrap that coil. It's too (laughs) difficult. (laughs) Oh, that's right. In in a few months, people will be begging you to show them how to wrap a coil, Larry. You'll see. I hope. Oh, yeah. It's coming. It'll come fast fast enough. You'll just be patient. Have you printed up yet? Oh, buddy. Uh, this being the cheapest printer that you can get, there's a lot of things that are wrong with it to start with. <laughs> uh, yeah. And and no, we haven't even we haven't even got it to center itself yet. Uh, Is it so, an ender? It's it's a TiVo scorpion uh, tarantula. Oh, okay. Uh, and it was a hundred dollars on the internet. Oh. And it, you, <laughs> put, you put it all together. It doesn't have corner braces. It doesn't have a, a table stabilizer. Uh, it doesn't have a spool holder even. Wow. So. All of the parts that we need, we're going to have to get this stupid thing working. And uh, not only that, the hair wires that they wire the limit switches with, most of them are broken, and we've had to re-solder all of those. Uh, <laughs> can you say cheap? You that at the dollar store, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, might as well. It would have worked better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pro, man. My word is great. Kids are being no, mean. Shit, I printed out. I've got little figurines that I printed out, like Dungeons and Dragons figurines. All right. No pictures of them once before, but uh, it's it comes out great. My word is great. 
we we've spent three hours, four nights, uh, three hours each, and still haven't got this thing where it will center itself. Hmm. Shit, I I got mine and, and spent uh, about an hour putting it together and had my first print within four hours. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, you need to get an Ender 3 Pro is what you need. It's a little more expensive. It's Ender 3. Yeah. It's a good printer. Now that I'm hearing the, the problems you're having with the cheap piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to have to use five or six spools of, of printing material just to get all the braces and stuff that we need. Yeah. Did you That's get if we can ever get it to work. Did you ever get the 3D uh, files for the donuts yet? Uh, they're they're on our mega account, but they're not for release yet. So you're not going to give me one? Not going to give you one. No. Nope. I'm, I'm sorry. We went over that today <laughs> in a, in a three-hour meeting as well. <laughs> we've, we've got to get the safety factors out there. We've got to get the... The how to do it step by step manuals out. Yeah. And we got to get people to read them. Because mm -hmm. it, it, yeah. we, we're going to have a problem with that because all it takes is one. Uh, yeah, one idiot, idiot to take and do this thing half ass and, or with a malicious intent, take it and do what it's not supposed to be used for. Yeah. And then they're going to be coming down on you like a ton of bricks. Yeah. And that's all they need to shut you down, which is they've already indicated that's what they want to do. Yeah. And so yeah. all they got to do is get one of their guys to go out there and build one of these things and kill some kid with it. Yep. And there you go. That, all these things are evil. <sighs> Life is evil. Oh, I'm pretty evil, but... I'm no I don't evil can evil. anybody like that. Not on purpose. But see, that's what's wrong. But that's what's wrong with the safety crowd. This whole fucking protect me from everything. They're a bunch of sissies, and they make everybody else afraid for them. And it grows like a. Well, get, According to OSHA, if you're six foot off the ground, you've got to be tied off. If you're six foot off the ground and fall, you're going to hit the ground with those things because their straps are six foot long. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. play. No, don't make me do that. Anyway, I, I don't want to be your slave. Let's go back to dark table stuff. I don't yeah. know. I'm just going along with the flow, folks, because I was... What was I? Not to be oh, yeah, well... Uh, JJ is out out of St. Louis. Asked a couple questions. Out of yakking. <laughs> Let's see. Now he's on a uh, collecting a power for a battery. See, and by all the things that Larry's told me over the time that I've been doing radio with him, the way I understand this is the key to this fucking whole nightmare is to be. Uh, <laughs> self-supporting in the energy department and the way that that could be done is by assembling his design so to speak but the problem with doing this is the government will not allow you to manufacture anything without a patent and you can't patent this because it works <laughs> wait a minute i was having fun <laughs> okay go ahead they, they won't let you market anything without a UL label that says that it won't kill anybody. That too. Okay. Well, I, I was I didn't get that far yet, Larry. <laughs> you can market anything you want. <laughs> yeah, marketing wise, but you're you still if it. your shit kills people, you're still responsible legally. Yeah. 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 To protect the the inventor from somebody else going out and, and stealing their invention. And building them and selling them. Yeah, look at what poor Bill Gates goes through defending his freaking vaccines every year. Yeah, you could cool. finance a few small countries on that guy's legal bills. Yeah. It's anyway. sickening is what it is. I'm kind of upset about 
Billy Bo Bob and his greasy that. mitts and everything. Yeah, you've been listening to David Icke, haven't you? No, I I like the name Billy Bo Bob because I <laughs> who the hell was that? This this guy that played a uh, in a movie. He was a what was his actor that fucking actor guy. Anyway, he's got a thing for French fries and he's like a killer. <laughs> what was that called? Sling Blade. That was it. Like that. Anyway. Yeah. Billy Bob Thornton. That guy. See, and I when I hear Bill Gates, I think of Billy Bob Thornton because he's a murdering retard. <laughs> <laughs> he's so fucked up. He knows he murdered people and he got boy these French fried taters is good. At right in the same breath with I, I murdered my mother. <laughs> These French and that, 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 that was out of a movie called Walking Tall. A little bit, but still, the point. This is what people believe. You know, this is what gets our attention collectively. It's frightening. And my favorite is Hannibal Lecter. Of, of all these disgusting fucks, they've entertained me with in my lifetime. My personal favorite is Hannibal, the master of everything. Like he's like hands come to life without the list. Never mind, you know. Uh, evil. <laughs> yeah. But not real, but it's entertainment to me, you know, but I know that there's no such person that could not be that could not be actually real. Nobody could That's live Hillary. a life like that. That's Hillary Clinton. Uh well, I okay. She's not that smooth to me, but okay. I well, the lifestyle, yeah, I could see it, but not explained the same way. You know, they're told differently because her reality has left some dead bodies in weird places. Railroad track suicides. Railroad track. You're gonna kill yourself. How are you gonna do it? I'm gonna lay down and wait for a train to run over me. Are you what? <laughs> no, you're not. It, and so is my friend. <laughs> We're going to double suicide today. <laughs> I wonder when they're going to start putting out biohazard bins for all the used up masks. Old, yeah. boo, old, old stuff. Come on. You're dealing You're dealing with the experienced choir here on the dork table, Rob. Maybe in the RLM chat you'll get an argument, but not your sport. We're talking about in the RLM chat. To oh, to be specific, uh, oh, not, I don't have to say anything. You know what I'm talking about. You have opposition to your side. Like, why can't people just understand there is a truth and there is everything else? <laughs> it's not hard. And the thing that the government shoves down your throat the hardest, well, or up your butt, whichever way you want to explain it, it's still being forced on you. It would never come to you to wake up in the morning and go, you know what I need today? I need to wear a mask everywhere I go to protect myself from all those fucking filthy pricks. Yes, JJ. Oh, what? I was on a rant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just throwing my... <laughs> That's the question. No, I just yep. wait for you to... And then I throw my little thing in there. Go. I, I agree I, with all that. They were throwing them on the freaking street. It's disgusting, <laughs> fucking pigs. They mush their fucking face in one of these gloves, pricks. Do that around me. Ooh. I'd go off like a bomb. <laughs> yeah, get this. Come back here. You drop something. <laughs> You're either going to do it yourself or I'm going to try to help you. Even without the virus, the mask would be a biohazard. But still, people throwing this shit on the ground? What? Yeah, they just... No. Less. See, I live in, I live in a civilized place. How many trash collectors have got it? Eleven. <laughs> Thousand. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Probably not. Uh, they're probably not counting. It's a cold anyway. They don't count actual relevant stuff. And and who decided what is uh, necessary to stay open and what's not? The experts. I That's don't know. Fucked up. 
All right. It's necessary we, for everybody to get to go to work. We need a volunteer from the RLM chat. Who wants to take the blame for <laughs> <laughs> for deciding what was essential and what was not essential? Now, see, what I got a problem with is people that went along with this horse shit. And here, too, I told them when they were done, are you out of your fucking minds? Stop this st- stupid... Yeah. Kate tracks this stuff. She said bus drivers seem harder hit than the trash collectors. Bus drivers. Yeah, but, you know, they're not the best. To, they're not the best to help. I think they're a bunch of drug addicts, bus drivers. Well, they could, weren't they wearing a mask to protect themselves? Yeah, but the mask don't work. Hey. Don't tell anybody. Nobody reads the box. Yeah. Or maybe the... Maybe the germs know how to beat the rules. Or maybe the story is just a bunch of bullshit and there's no virus. Stop the clock. JJ has the answer for all about what's essential. Uh-oh. Well, I'm waiting. Uh, any folks not gobbling? Are you serious? No, I don't go. No, can't do the government. Me and the government are on different grounds. Because I think the government is a fiction, and I don't want to live in a fiction. So hmm. the government had to go. I so it's not essential for my barber to go to work so that he can feed his family? Apparently no. not. They don't give a shit about your barber, Larry. They don't give a fuck about you. They haven't looked at my hair lately. See, now, I gave up all that vanity stuff about 20 years ago and uh, stopped cutting my hair at all. Girls yeah. will want to do it every once well, It's like Cirque's sister will do it once in a while. But they'll bring it up. You know, It won't be me. Oh, make me handsome so all the uh, women will drop at my feet. No. Those, you know, those kind of days. All the gone. women drop at my feet anyway <coughs> because they're laughing right out loud. Ha, 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 ha. I don't know. I'm not going to. Boy. See, all that bragging shit doesn't work. And then when you go the other direction, then people go, ah, you're just being modest. <laughs> Never mind. That wasn't you, Chloe. That was Flash. What did I do now? I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> okay, what did I do? How many times can you talk about something before you're tired of it? They that drop was it the smell of your feet. Yeah, uh-huh. McCartney did a song called Smile Away. <laughs> that was, the, see, we grew up in a period of time that was... More fun than the time we're in, I think. Me and you, Rob. Uh, uh, Larry's 10 years older than me, so I don't know where he stands on that mentality. (laughs) I'm too too old to be a hippie. I'm a beatnik. That's what I was meaning, yeah. Okay. But I don't know. Do you have fond memories of your history? I I do. Okay. That's all that matters, you know. Because we take a bashing for being, what is it, baby boomers, Rob? I forget the terms. I fucking don't care, really. But. Some people say I'm a baby boomer. Some people say I'm Gen X. Okay, well, what? It, but whatever. But that group of people gets bashed all the time. The baby boomer group on the RLN. And, it's just, it's yeah, a... They it's, had it for somebody else's life sucks. Yeah, but it's like a comic strip for adults on the Real Liberty Media. We get... The other side posting their uh, it's hysterical. If, if you were away from your wife for seven years fighting a war, what would happen when you got home? Well, you'd be legally dead, I think. <laughs> yeah, you'd be divorced too. <laughs> yeah, really, somebody else would be banging your old lady. Well, yeah, yeah, right. And then you got to prove that you're really not dead, but on paper you're dead. They don't give a shit about the person. They want your banking and your, your banking account, boy. This is about money. We trade you on the exchange. Don't you understand? And people have very little knowledge or concern that the stock exchange is based on our human labors. And they don't understand without us, the stock exchange doesn't even exist. It's it's the fantasy. We're the reality. But they seem to have convinced people the opposite, that we need this stock exchange for... No, we could probably live a whole lot better without it. But, 
me, I'm a, what do you call it? I don't give a shit what they trade in. There's always a black market. So, my tastes would uh, always help me survive the times. Always have. Whoa, that inspired a whole lot of chitter chatter out of you guys. Mm. <laughs> I've what? been smoking pot since I was 11 years old in a state where you can't. Yes, there's a black market for anything you want. And that's what I mean. And an intelligent, um, you've got a good history, Larry. You're a nice guy and all that kind of stuff. Me and you are socially the opposite of each other. But we're not. We're really the same. Just I look one way and you look another. And uh, you have paperwork I don't have. But as far as the rest of it goes, so, mm. Your specialty is electric. My specialty is something different. Yeah, and everybody's got a specialty. Exactly, and that's how I how I feel comfortable here, like a, a peer. Because you're really a in, in your specialty, you're superior, guaranteed that. But in just real life, you're just a regular guy. Yeah, everybody yeah. knows a whole oh, bunch of stuff you, that I don't know, and I want to know what they know. Well, you ain't kidding. I. I've sponged off you quite a bit. There's been a lot of uh, overflow came my way. And sometimes things that you don't think are relative, like Circle come up with a project she wants done, blah, blah, blah. And I'll use um, other ideas that I normally wouldn't use to get where I'm going because other things opened up possibilities that left alone I would never have thought of. Then they go, hey, Rob said, try doing this particular thing from that particular way. For example, I was just making a, you know, an example of that that didn't mean anything to mean something. Because it's a talk show and, and, and I talk. <laughs> that, that's, the way it is in our Sunday, uh, that's the way it is in our Monday group. Those guys know a whole bunch of stuff that I don't know, and I learn from them every single week. And you're a mistake maker, like the the last uh, <laughs> the Absolutely. coil show telling us about getting stuck in the ri in the lake. That yeah, when you, I do and you but you knew better, but you did it anyway because you're stubborn. That yep. that's a hard <laughs> thing to you telling on yourself to you know real people, right? But, but when uh, it comes to the electric stuff, that's that's different, Larry. <laughs> I've, I've told people all along, if I have somebody like me working for me, I would fire their ass. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're you're a hard nut to crack, I can yeah, assume. You're out of yourself. <laughs> well, I think being able to look beyond what you're told is a specialty. Not not every. I don't think I do that all the time. I think I, there's lots of things in life I, I take at face value. I don't question them. How they work or what would improve their operation. I just used the one I'm given. And then I found the Internet and then it opened up all these other doors and I started to find people like you that introduced me to other stuff that I could use to make the, the physical life more comfortable. And that's what I think the, uh, the show's been about on, on Thursday is you want to contribute something to the people to make that will freedom of their slavery and they don't even know they're in slavery in the first place so you've right. got so many hurdles to cross before you can talk to a simple guy and show him <laughs> this will make your life better and most of them could afford to buy one if there was one available but there, there you go that's the problem it, it's a catch-22 I, I think when we get started that we'll probably give away as many as we sell. Oh, I think giving them away would be the best way ever, ever to make money. Give away your first hundred. <laughs> give away every other one. You'd make a family of people that would be united for the and their families bound like Rothschilds forever. <laughs> well, this is the way I look at the the world economy is run by certain families. And the rest of us mutts are out here living how we live, we're, we're off these other families that don't have any say in the, what the other families say. <laughs> so they, they throw us these 
dog and pony shows like politics and kingdoms, crap like that, parliaments. How do you control your slaves? This all of this is about, one way or another. Call it free market, call it United States or England or Australia, Denmark. You're a, you're a uh, chattel on a banker's log. <laughs> but on the good side, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, we're not free to. If I decided tomorrow, Rob, that I wanted to go to Washington State, guess who? What I can't do? Go to Washington State because I need permission to do these things now. Papers, please. See, I used to just book a flight and go where I wanted to fucking go. Now it's like, hey, wait a minute, <laughs> you yeah. might have the coronavirus. Yeah, you might have hair on your face, but uh <laughs> check your shampoo. Well, I mean, it's just as common as having hair on your face to have this corona thing. First, or you got the corona, or you're smuggling something, or what? I don't know. Going to visit my sicko grandma in the hospital? <laughs> I don't know. Going to go visit my friend Mary that just got in a head-on collision in brass in. Kansas, Nebraska. Oh, um, and you just saved Mary from Nebraska. Oh, that's mm. is Circle there? I think she's upstairs somewhere. I don't know. I, would, I know she's home. She just brought me a cup of coffee a few minutes ago. Yeah, uh, quick, yeah. uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. She must really like you. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's it's amazing. I'm I'm just I don't know. You can't explain it. I, I know true. that much. Whatever this is, is like, what? <laughs> I love flipping shit for Ashton. None of it means anything. It's just fucking... Exactly. But I just keep waking up every day, no matter what. It's like, okay. I don't really have any expectation of life. Life just keeps happening and shit happens. And there you go. But... I don't expect it and demand it and have people protecting my rights and my lefts. And I don't wear gloves and masks to make you feel better. Fuck off. I'm, in, I'm a guest in their country, but I till, still tell them I think the shit in the store is stupid. If you think this is protecting you from me, wow. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, because you, you've got a, more of a chance of doing somebody physical harm with your fist than you do of giving them an illness by coughing in a, gro in a grocery store. Unless, all right? See, there's that fine line. Unless you're already some kind of fucked up sicko that's snotty and goobery in a public place. What are you doing there? Get the fuck out. Don't even wear a mask in here. Get the fuck out. <laughs> That's how I would have been before this mask shit started. I would on people uh, all the time in restaurants. If, if a waitress came up to me or a waiter, I was sniveling. And, no, I've you know. never seen that in a restaurant. Wow, what kind of places are you eating at? <laughs> not, not a dive joint. Um, matter of fact, uh Okay, it's like a Denny's, but it's not a Denny's. It's a different one. It's the, the manners of the times change every dec every what two decades, Larry? No, about yeah. You think Larry, people, Rob? No, people no longer say thank you and and please and yes, ma'am and no, ma'am. Yeah. Folks don't do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That's not true. Well, That's most true. Rob, I got a I I kind of agree with that most. I'm only saying that because I've noticed I noticed the difference from where I came from down in Texas up here. Uh -huh. Oh, down south, folks still do that. Uh -huh. Up in Yankee Land, they don't. Uh -huh. I came from Texas up here to Arkansas, and up here in Arkansas, these people are, are nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ar Arkansas is enough southern that they they respect one another. I came from the further south, and and they're not, they don't. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's a culture thing because Texas is 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 now a Mexican state. Texas ain't a southern state. Texas is a western state. Texas. 
it's it's a Mexican state. It's yep. actually they they just passed the population that population of Texas just became majority Mexican. Oh, oh I, I got a really good question for Larry. Are are you familiar with what George Bush did when he left office? That was uh, effective in two thousand and five. Or not effective, but it was written in 2005, and it's coming up to now where it applies to the people today. No, I have no idea. Okay. They unified Canada, Mexico, and the United States on paper at, the, at a future time to be recognized legally as one place. The PPP. That sucks. Yeah, well, all these well, legal... That was designed for us to make the wages in all three countries the same. Raise Mexico and Canada wages and lower the United States wages. And right. as an attachment, they they took liberties. They yeah. always do this. They call it with pork. They do it with pork bills. You know, they stick this in there that you don't... You don't hear about it, but when you read page 485, you find out about it. The most... Yeah. The thing I've ever seen in the law. Uh, this bill is for such, 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 and this, and that, and the other thing, and for other purposes. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a big advocate of one vote, one law. Talk about yeah. that blank fucking check. Mm. Well, <laughs> hmm. so why I'm so uh, negative about the U.S. now is the way I'm understanding the shit that the Bush family did that's coming up. That's going to be accountable in the near future. Those plans are happening, and you got weird now, shit going on. Like a, a part of together, Clinton started. Clinton did it too. The first executive order was written by Lincoln. Oh yeah, the shit goes back. These people have been at this for uh, hundreds of years. When the United States officially ended, because the Southern delegates walked out of Congress, leaving it without a quorum to. Uh, come up with a, a vote to reconvene, which is called Sine Die. Wow. With... Yeah, see, there's all these details in the history. The um, United States was officially dead, gone. And then in 1871, they came back and they Lincoln uh, ordered all the delegates back to Washington at gunpoint and force them to sign off on the Act of 1871, which is the incorporation of the United States, creating the U.S. Inc. Well, wait, Lincoln was already gone before 1871. Hmm. Oops, did I hit it? I, I, I think you're misquoting a, a date or something. Misquoting it, yeah. It was the next guy that did it. Sorry, sorry to do that to you that way, Rob. That's okay. Hey. Okay. Uh, okay. Who replaced wrong. Lincoln? Um, what was his name? Andrew Johnson? Johnson. Johnson. Still, just, uh, whoever. Yeah. Because his, that. yeah, his uh, vice I'm, president I'm was Johnson. Hey. Let me just find out. We have internet. Right. But I was uh, just saying the year that c couldn't have been Lincoln because he'd Thank already been right. shot. Lincoln ordered... Polk? No. Polk uh, might have been before Lincoln. I might be on the wrong track. I'm going the wrong way on the one-way track. Oh, God. I barely remember the ones oh. that were president when I was here. And Kate says eight minutes till the two-hour mark would, would mean seven more minutes for us to make a full show of the Dork Table Kinsah. Whoa, you guys, I had such a horrible time getting here today. You're using oh, that rocket. Boy. Mm. No, it's using Windows. It's my own fault, but I, I'm i addicted to his, some of their games. That, are you using butt? Or, huh? Are you using butt or... No, no, rocket? I'm using the uh, rocket broadcaster. You have a timer on it? Yeah, but uh, I don't... Okay. Let me see. But I wasn't sure what time I started. It's just got a clock that runs. It yeah. doesn't tell you what. It doesn't. No, it's not like that. What time it is. It gives you. you, you Kate so gave right it to now. me. 19 after is two hours. So we got yeah. six, five and a half minutes. 
So your timer on your rocket broadcaster says an hour and 55 minutes. No, I don't have that. I got a clock. It just okay. says the time, so I just do all the math in my head. Uh, it's not complicated for me, Rob. I guess you're used to Hansel, but no, I'm okay. 19 no, after is two energy. hours. Yeah. Ooh. It's a different program. I use Butt, and it has just a timer on there. It tells you. It, it switches back and forth between how long you've been uh, mm. broadcast yeah. and how long. Oh, I don't. I don't have that. See, I'm not all fancy like you. But you know, I did have a really nice thing happen to me at the um, store. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm always bragging. The kids will use me to practice their English. Yeah. That I got one. Uh, I was getting pastry, and she was very adamant about it, telling me my change out loud in English, not Danish. <laughs> Well, yeah, see, you know, wow, these kids are practicing their English. They want to know if they're yeah. understood or not. And, and it's wow. like all, all the other countries of the world teach you at least three languages. Yeah, I, I'd probably agree with it. Yeah. There are other countries in the world, I should say. Yes, yeah, Cirque's bi, beyond bilingual, I don't know, five-lingual or something, where she'll know parts of a language because she's been you know, involved in it. Yeah. But we always got dog Latin to rely on. Yeah. You know, the language of the mutt. The Jew the the Jews knew what they were doing, man. <laughs> oh, you got are you behind me on my idea? If you get rid of all the freaking Jews out of your Senate and your Congress, uh your country would go back to normal normal in about twenty four hours. Maybe maybe quicker. All Depending of them. You can put them on the same boat. Yeah, like Larry just started to say, all the Zionists too, and then, yeah, you got a deal. Well, my people are just so overrated in political the political arena. They got way too much input and control, and they need to be fucking stopped before there's nothing to stop, before you're zig heiling them. It's getting sickening. Masks. People are mandating lockdowns. What kind of fucking free society lives like that? Give me a break. It's not a free society. Stop calling it one. Well, it was free when I left it. Well, free-ish. No, <laughs> no not really, yeah. but I it had really so much freedom in it that... Free in half time. Mm. I left that when I was 12 mm. years old. I had a little Yamaha 80 little piece of shit. Yeah. Dirt bike around and, and the cop started to chase me. Ah, oh, yeah. you bad boy, you. He didn't catch me, but that was, that was the first time I ran from cops and got away. But uh, and I've, been, I've known ever since. They're not your friends. No, they're not. They're not free to do anything. No. Not. They're here to serve tech tickets and protect their jobs. <laughs> <laughs> See, Larry, that's, that's why a nerd like Larry is so welcome at the dork table. Because... Yes, he sees the fucking world the way it truly is. Appreciate that. Well, yeah. it's not easy to say some of the stuff we say out loud, Rob. It's not very popular. So when people hear it out loud from us, they go, whoa, ain't you special? <laughs> that was funny, too, because I had a friend that was waiting on me. I was going down to the store uh, to grab some sodas or whatever, and I pulled up, and there was a cop. Coming from the left, there was traffic, and he saw me and put his blinker on. I whipped around and took off. All oh, asked as fast as I could on my little <laughs> and my little rice burner. <laughs> and I was sitting over at the junior high waiting for me. You rebel. <laughs> and I go flying by over here, and I yell, cops! And, I, and, I, and then there's a whole bunch of woods off right there, and I go off on the trails into the woods. Well, he told me later, that cop come flying sideways around the corner trying to catch my ass. And how many people were he endangering at that point? Yeah, exactly. And this was, uh, this had to be 1970, maybe 75, 6. Just because some little kid was having fun on a little motorcycle. 
and that's that's that was my first experience of that fear, that terror. <laughs> Law. <laughs> oh well, you're not free. We, we, I guess, I think it's still got to be a, a state of mind that you take yourself out of or put yourself in. Uh, any any other way you look at it, there's no way to come out of it free. <laughs> so it has to be mental instead of physical. So I've never lived under the illusion that we were free. Hmm. Hmm. I have my moments. I I like to live my illusion my own way, without uh, yeah. other people dictating what I can and cannot do. But I'm civilized, and there's boundaries that you know I choose to not cross by choice, like being just violent with people because I can. Eh, no, none of that goes on. Uh, so yeah, uh, it makes a big difference in your life when you're. Small and you're nice to people, you get along with everybody. It's just fucking amazing. I've never been a fighter. Oh, I was a fighter when I was young, for crying out loud. People bullied you. When, uh, in my day, whoa. No fights in my life. Well, right, but I was a teenager in the, right, the mid, uh, the 70s, 73, 74, 75. So things were still. And even in California, we're still old, old fashioned. Yeah, you know, people would challenge you, and you had to either back down and be a pussy, or go out to the field and fight. And I choose yeah. to go out to the fucking field if I got challenged. I never had that happen. It just oh, it was grade school stuff. I don't remember even the cause of it, but I know there was a three or four times where some bully wanted to, you know. Give me what for, because I said something. So I went out to the fucking field. <laughs> but then my dad told me, he goes, well, if you come home crying from that, I'm going to whip you too, and you're going to cry again. I went, wow, what a deal. What a day. My father had a, a weakness for weakness. He thought any he thought an act of kindness was an act of weakness. And he wasn't a stingy kind of mean guy. He was a physical mean guy. So it was, yeah, but he was a generous motherfucker and all like that. But, yeah. Uh, but he had a fist like, like a brick. <laughs> a brick. It's kind of a sad, it's sad is that we all grow up to be what we were raised with. And I think that at some point in my life, I just decided I would never do what he did to anybody else. So I, I, I've been really lucky, you know, outside of a few, you know, disagreements. No, no real big deal. Shit, nothing to prove look, to anybody either. It's been a beautiful life. <laughs> look at other people and see their shortcomings, hmm. not so that you can make fault for them, but so that you know what you do not want to be like. Thank you, Larry. And I'm probably one of those people because I'm outspoken about Weird opinions that other people don't know where they come from, so they judge them. <laughs> that's, maybe that's what they're for. Anyway, we've gone over the, the full show limit. And I want to thank you guys, because you made it go, boom, it's over. And uh, yep. I, I was stammering and stuttering alone, trying to do a solo. Yeah, so. dude, that's why I offered to come on. I appreciate both of you doing that. So, uh, But it's it's time for us to... Roll up the street. Let me get the clothes. Up the yeah, all that kind of um, stuff. Let me get the. Uh, it's over. I got to start the podcast thing again too. So see, it's all a matter of time in here, right? So it takes like six seconds for this thing to to pause and it does what it does. So let me just bring it up here, and then we can say goodbye. Whenever you're ready, guys. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having me on.